When I was making this film, you know, fictitious film about, uh, you know, this, you know, based on Smith's dream, Carl Stead's book, um, you know, I was looking at those images from, you know, what we saw on television and imagining what would happen if, you know, you had a similar situation in New Zealand. Um, thank God New Zealand's never been that place really, you know, even in the darkest days of um, the Springbok tour, you know, I think New Zealand is very much a cohesive place. And, um, and in fact, you know, the very nature of New Zealand allowed that film to be made, you know, it was a, it was, you know, financed by um, Broadbank, you know, who are a merchant bank. Don Brash was a major supporter of making the film. Um, the New Zealand Air Force cooperated, you know, extraordinarily by lending, you know, the helicopters and planes. So you could not have made that film without the cooperation of what you would have thought would be the very elements that would not have encouraged that film. I get a phone call on a Sunday morning from Max Cryer and Max says, uh, Roger, you know, I've, I was at a party last night and I had a, I, I ran into the Prime Minister and he uh, wants you to call him on this number. This is like Sunday morning. Anyway, I phoned this number and a voice on the other end of the line goes like, hello, and I hear Robert Muldoon here. <laughs> anyway, I say, oh, Max Cryer said you wanted me to call you. And he said, yes, Roger, yes. I wanted to talk to you about this film you've made. He said, uh, it's causing me a bit of, um, you know, there's, there, there's a lot of questions being asked about it and I haven't seen it yet and I, I think I should see it. He said, but I don't really want to go to a public cinema to see it, so I want you to uh, organise a, a private screening for me. So um, I go, oh, God, you know, I was no fan of Muldoon's. <laughs> anyway, I call up Mune and I say, you know, I tell Mune what's happened and I go, I'm not going to show it to him, you know. And Ian goes like, well, he's the president, you know, he's the prime minister, of course we've got to show it to Mune. You know, I said, well, I'm not going to do it, you'll have to organise it. So uh, Ian gets there one Sunday morning and he's standing there waiting for the prime minister to turn up and... There's a young guy waiting there also, and Ian starts talking to the guy and says, you know, you won't believe what I'm doing here. He's like, you know, waiting for the, you know, bleep bleep prime minister and, you know. Anyway, just then the car drives up and out gets Muldoon and the young man says, hello, dad. 